It's in my blood to be able to take care of the land and the livestock. That's how I grew up. When I get outside in the morning or even in the evening and I always joke to people, I say, do you hear that? He said, no, I don't hear anything. I said, listen. And I still don't hear it. I said, that's precisely it. You don't hear a thing out here. All I hear is nature. As a farmer, the environment is very important to us, but it's also important to the consumer. As we all know, climate change is here and it's, it's getting more and more uh, extreme. But if the farmer does his job properly, we can mitigate climate change. As a farmer, we earn our living from the land. So as much as possible, I like to show respect for the land and practice what I do in respect for the land. And then in the same tone, we want to so show respect for our livestock. And so we manage the, the land with the cows and we feed the cows with the land. So the two are a natural fit together. As a herd of mothers with their babies, they're all protective of all the babies and keep them, keep them close and keep them safe, which is a great thing because there is a lot of wildlife. Environmental stewardship on our property, it creates more space for animals and wildlife to coexist. The mixture of as many species as possible that you can grow on the soil. Each plant withdraws a certain amount of nutrients from the soil and gives back different things to the soil. So biodiversity is extremely important Every day when we're out here, we're looking for the health of the cows and we're also looking for the health of the calves. We want to make sure they're not skinny. As you can see, these guys got extra body condition. We're also looking at the grass. We don't want them to eat it too short. When the ground is bare, it dries out too much and then there is no moisture in the ground for the grass to regrow. By doing rotational grazing, the idea is we want to give it as long a rest period as possible. The great outdoors here, they can't be happier.